this board right here was electric. I bought it, like, I don't know how many years ago. High school, middle high school, something like that. Bought it because it was a cheap board. It was cheaper than buying all whatever board. It has electric, and it's it's just a razor board. Or, what, or not razor. Yeah, it is razor. It's a razor board. I have it custom painted out. It looks amazing. But uh, I bought a newer board, nicer one, as you, I think I made a video on already. Uh, really nice. So I was thinking, I was looking at the design of it, and it looks like I could just pop off the motor and all this stuff, and it should be like a normal board. And one of my friends is getting into it, but he's always a broke boy. So I decided maybe I should build this for him and then just let him take care of some minor stuff. Like it still has good bearings, we're gonna clean it. I need to, uh, Actually, it's still spinning pretty well, but yeah, I guess I can clean the bearings a little bit more, but new, it does need new wheels, and it might need a new truck, because I think one of these parts is, is stick out still, but uh, basically there's no point in having it electric anymore, it just makes it impossible to ride without whatever, the range is bad, the second battery I bought it was broken, and if you're asking about this little strap right here, it's because it makes it easy to get to the battery, and uh, whatever, but we won't need that anymore, I can take this back after I've had it on here for years, but um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it's even possible, but we're gonna try it. I don't know why we wouldn't try it. It's pretty cool. I do have my light mod on there, and it looks like it's doing pretty good. I hope the video comes out as good as it should. Very expensive GoPro. I don't know uh, why it wouldn't turn out really all right, but um, probably right. Nine, three seconds, probably. No, it's even bigger than that. I was not right. Five sixteenths was correct. Uh, let's see. Get it on there. I know I should get it while it's on the piece. It's bad on me. Uh, but yeah, this is basically gonna be just a simple walkthrough on how to do it, and I'll probably have some voiceover later on how to do it more properly. It's probably spinning the screw in place. If I move this board, I hope the camera doesn't fall because it's not happy tilting down. Yeah. Stuff that way. All right. So, camera seems to be stable still. All right. So I'm just doing the four bolts on these trucks, and it's probably gonna be hard to see, and it's a bad angle to get this thing into. I'll tell you what. Oh, okay. I lied. Okay. Flip around quick. I did paint this way. I did, I kind of messed up over here. That was my bad. But um. These are not screws like standard boards. Even on the trucks like standard boards are usually uh, whatever. I noticed almost all electrics seem to have Allen keys. I don't know why. I assume it's to be like more secure or it's so you can't work on it, but any tool set ever comes with Allen key that fits. So I'm gonna guess. Oh, but I gotta be careful though, because there's a wire coming out of it. And unlike the new electric board, it doesn't just unplug, it goes actually in. I think I got a plan for it. Oh, I might. I didn't decide if I want to take off the wheel. Uh, I don't know if I want to take off this wheel and then the, the gear, it's a gear system through here. I don't know if I want to just uh, take off the wheel now and then take off the whatever so I can get it all off at once or I think I just want to take all this off once so I can get rid of the board so it's easier to work on. I think that's what I'm going to do. Like, I don't think anyone's done this to this board before because why would you? Let's be honest with ourselves. Uh, the other, but to be fair, if you just want a board, this deck, I've, I've already stripped this before. This isn't the first time I've stripped it, so I've done it before. I haven't done it in like a year. But it is kind of interesting. I haven't done it, obviously, in a while. But it's like, why? I mean, you'd pay like a, it's like, oh, look, I'm getting notifications again. Yeah, finally, my watch is working. All right, so, um, come on, unscrew. It's like, uh, why would you pay $170 for a new board, which is pretty much standard? Uh, or, or shorter ones are like 160 or 50 sometimes, but it usually seems to be like 170 is the average. Um, but why uh, pay for that when you can get this board for, um, I think it was 150 back then. I mean, it's harder to find now, but you can get a skateboard version if you want it. Just, you know, just, just let you know. But, uh, oh, did not even bump the camera and microphone. Sorry about that. This will probably work with any of uh, the other Razor one as well, the shorter one, uh, the skateboard one. Oh, people are texting me and calling me. Woo-wee!
been on there for so long. But nope, it comes right off. All right. It does look kind of cool underneath here. All right. <laughs> Drop the board, but that's okay. It's unfortunate, but so it does have a rubber gasket that does keep out water, and it seems to have done a good job. Uh, should I really just take off the? I don't know if I want to take off the kingpin or not, just to make it easier on myself. But underneath is wooded still. Am I, do I still remember? I do. All right. So the reason why I think this board could be converted so easily is that it still has a shaft and it still has the everything else that's necessary, but it just has the uh, the, the rim basically of it. it has these white plastics as a um, grabber that grabs into it and propels it. So it's probably a really weak system and um, probably would crack and break over some pretty rough terrain, which I probably beat it through. But um, I I just think if you just take that out and I take off the gearing off of this, it should just be we're left with the axle. Of course, I could just replace the um, trucks. I don't know, uh, but I'm trying to save every dollar here. This is a, basically a budget build. <laughs> you can probably find one of these broken online for like a hundred bucks and then you just do what I'm doing here and then make it a board that's basically as good as any board you can buy from a store and save like shit, 70 bucks. I don't see why you couldn't. Okay, this comes off a little bit more rough because it has the... Hmm. So this is a little bit more tricky than I thought it was going to be. This doesn't just pop right off. Um, it's kind of upsetting. It makes it a little bit harder. I was hoping it did, and then that way, worst case scenario, you just put it back on, and then you probably have a board because the, the limiter is right here, so your wheel won't be hitting it. Um, well, you know what I mean? you got to build and to learn how to build. All right, so, geez, it's a little gunked up in there, but it's, uh, Uh, just the module has been taken off so far there. Nice. Alright, so screw time. I've got these off. I'm taking this off before. It is just a geared system. It's very simple. Uh, you could do... So that's off. It comes with very tiny little bearings in here to assist these uh, gears. I'll show in a second. Um, I've got the white lube. It looks like like chicken fat or whatever they do. So the only thing that's got water resistance is this little uh, um, rubber seal on here. So basically, it's geared down so it doesn't uh, so it can spin up faster, but it loses a lot of torque from this motor. This motor is probably pretty strong. It's just the gears get a little bit stronger. So. So basically, the motor spins. It takes the gear up, up, and up. So it does. It does a full rotation. How slow? Let's see if I can calculate. There. So from there to there is a full rotation of the small gear. That's crazy. How much it's geared down. If you had it just straight up, the speed would be probably pretty cool. But it have low torque though. That's the problem. So. Which I don't think it really matters anyways, because for this board it has a safety feature you have to push first before you go. So I don't think you really need the torque, so they just have it geared down just to slow you down, I think. Kind of upsetting, but there's not much you can do. Okay, I'm interested if this just... Oh, it does just come off right now. Okay, so this comes off. Big old bearing in there. Hmm, this looks like the bearing that I need for my other board. Someone just pulling my driveway. Do I need to get my shotgun out? I will kill him. I was indeed wrong. No shotgun was necessary. Alright, so... Gear... Oh, this gear just came right out. That's concerning because ah, the amount of grease freaking on there. 
little bearings in here. Oh, I think I can get it out because I think it's just. <clears throat> I don't think I can. Fuck, they really got me good. Oh, there's a screw missing in here. I didn't take that screw out. Where did the screw go? There's just a little screw in here. I have no idea where it came from. Oh, it's the bottom here. Oh, the motor wasn't even held on. Both screws came out of the motor. Wow. This motor probably should just pop right off almost. That's crazy. What the? I didn't. I never took the motor off of this thing, by the way. When I painted it, this entire thing came off one piece. I didn't mess with this, really. So, that's fucking weird. The, it literally came out. There's two screw holes right down here. And that's where the, I. It looks like it's the only place that it fits in. That's crazy. I didn't. I've never taken like the motor off of this thing. Now, the question is what is holding this motor on? Is it just this gear? And if so, how easy can I get it to come off? All right, so let's get this gear off. I, I mean, I might just break it off, or I might just hit it through the pin. Or is it, what's the best way to get this off? Because I can't get to the other side. The best way would have two screwdrivers underneath the edge, pulled up like that. But there's nothing I could do. Oh, it just freely spins? No, it doesn't just freely spin. This was probably like, oh, dude, if I just break it off. Okay, it's, I don't know if it's coming loose. It doesn't feel to be. Good thing I don't care about the screwdriver. Oh, it's like sp springed in too, so it doesn't lose any kind of traction. There's also two screws in here, I think. So I think actually there's two more screws holding this on. So I could just pop that off and then this entire thing opens up. Oh, and I probably could just, is this plastic or metal? Plastic. I probably will just hammer it and break it off around these edges if I can't get these rivets pretty much off. Okay, it should come off and the, okay, there we go. The bushings fell out. These bushings are rock hard. I would probably weird longboard that I have that I'm rebuilding at the time. Boom, there it is. Kinda looks kinda cool. There you go. It's so this is off. I don't even know if I'm going to bother rebuilding the motor and putting it back together so it looks all right because I'd have to just redo it all anyways if I was going to put it back on here. And I don't think I'm going to ever do that. So I guess I could just throw out these pieces. What is this? Oh, what did I drop? What is this? A coin? Oh, that's the fucking <laughs> bushing cap. Oops. So I might actually have to spray paint this because the wheel isn't going to be up this far. It's going to be over here. It's uneven. Don't, I don't care. Don't add, didn't ask. So I'm gonna get the grease off of this. Okay, so I like 
figured I got it on the uh, spindle. I don't really care if it's on the shaft or not. I just need to not. These threads gotta come clean. Stop! Fucking paper towels are unpredictable where they're gonna come off. Okay, it's coming off pretty well. It's still wet, obviously, but it just doesn't say it well. It's there. All right. So, point. All right, just trying to put put the wheel back on. I uh, guess I could put a spacer on the outside wheel, which I should do, so I guess I'll just steal that. Yeah, I'll just steal that. I don't know why I wouldn't. I know it's a lock washer, but it doesn't matter. I don't really think it does. There's something wrong with this. There's no way it was that st not that steep last time. Am I going from the wrong angle? Oh, I'm going from the wrong angle. That's why I'm stupid. See, I can't figure it out, actually. I lied. I'm really stupid. The nut goes here, and that's why it was, like, tucked in. Like so. Mm, retarded. All right, that's fine. All right, so that's there. That's there. That's the, 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 the. Get in. Get in there. Okay. Okay, it's in there. But you, to do these properly, you have to shove the uh, nut in place first before you go, or else it's not really going right. As you would probably imagine. Oop, I already cross threaded it. God, I love it. Already have failed as a human being. All right, so. I mean the nut's not on straight. So it's grabbing two threads at the same time, basically. Oh, left, wrong way. All right, I'll, I'll have to tune it correctly when I get all of them together, because I want them to be obviously the same in front and back. You don't want one super loose and one. Could switch it to be a screw setup, but there's no point in doing that. These are the right threads, right? Yes, they are correct. A little noisy. That's fine. Okay, so let me just get the screw through. Okay, my board's falling off. I'm just working off the paint off the edges. Gotta love it. Just loving it. All right. Boom. There you go. At least it's situated. Um, wiggle it through, just keep shaking it until it goes on, and then I'm going to just kind of pop these nuts, oh, I hope these aren't the right, these are the right nuts, right, okay, there, we're good, we're good, I totally thought they were going to be the wrong ones, it was not, you are fine, I'm just going to cap off the ends, and we're just going to do obviously the same as reverse, I already have the screws all in. I forgot I was ahead of myself. Oops. Okay. Just want to make sure you don't cross thread them, especially such small nuts. You might pop them off, or you might break a thread, and then you gotta go find a different screw that fits. I'd rather be safer than sorry. This board is also under, like, like almost scary how light it is because they wanted to save weight. We just came off. Oh, my, my socket, not a big deal. Oh, okay. That's it. It's um, actually 
done. That's it. Uh, you just saved yourself like 60 bucks by buying a never board. Like I said, if you find a broken one, you can probably get it for nothing, but that's it. It looks like a standard board underneath. It's decently long. Will this probably decrease its, um, flex or increase its flexibility? Probably. Otherwise, this video should turn out pretty okay, I think. Uh, yeah, these bearings may need cleaning, but bushings and wheels, and anyways, it'll be fine. But yeah, that's how you turn it into a nice board. That's how you do it. Hmm. Now you know.